Hey all guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more Chronicles of Alexander the Great. So basically, we last left off, we were building quite a few of our, in our holdings, we were making a new castle and a new barracks, um, spending some of that money we got from amassing wealth. Uh, we also married and our son is soon to come of age, so hopefully he gets a, new, uh, a nice educational trait, which he should because his current educator is a brilliant strategist, so hopefully he'll gain... Um, something along them lines, that'd be really nice. Um, we do, he wants to become a monk. Well, no, he, he will not become a monk. It's kind of cool that he gains that trait though. But no, alas, he will not become a monk. He gains stress, which is bad. Very, very bad, but hopefully he can lose that fairly soon. Because he is the only living heir, or male living heir, to our dynasty. So, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't gain... Uh, he doesn't die. He also gained Brave, which is brilliant. Um, that's very, very nice. He obviously just uh, gained that. He's now a man, and he gained uh, a skilled tactician, which is nice. Boosts up his health a little bit. We'll also give him a holding sometime soon. We also need to find someone to marry. Um, he is also straight away in military costume. So, what? Is he at war? Is he marching somewhere? Or is he just chilling in his... It is robes. He's got 16 martial, which is nice. And, yeah, he lost stress as well. Which is even better. So, yeah, we have a nice military commander to take over. So, now let's start looking for people for my son to marry. Um, they have a son. He's not of her dynasty, so they'll lose. He'll then gain it. Who is his father? Down here in Malta. So we really want to get, we really want to try and murder some of these people. What is the the chances of us murdering, assassinating the husband? We have a 38% chance of being successful. If we put our spy master there, that'll go up. That's actually a fairly nice chance. Uh, what one even is it? Let's build a spy network that'll go up by 6%. So if we build a spy network there, what's the chances of killing him? Not killing him, assassinating him. Uh, that got to a forty-seven per chance, percent chance. Let's go and do it. Um, he divulged my name. Fuck, that's not good. I mean, she'll probably she doesn't even hate me. I'm dishonourable though, which is not good. I'm also ugly, which is kind of funny. And we'll try again in the second two second times a charm. Because I just want him to get killed. If we can murder him, then we can marry my son to her and he'll inherit all of it. Hopefully. We'll try again, like one more time. We have the money to spend. We're not really needing to spend it on anything at the moment. I'm pretty sure it's 150, so we'll just wait. A little bit. There you go, 150. Let's go ahead. Uh, I'll go to the feast as well. So let's try ahead, go ahead and murder him once more. 47% chance. He choked on his own blood. Lovely. So he died. That's brilliant. She now needs an, a marriage. Why can't we... I don't, it's not mm, betrothal, is it? Why can't we marry you? Did we not kill him? She just instantly married. Fuck. That was stupid of me then. We have a larger percent chance of killing this dude, though. I should have paused it straight away and tried to get the marriage, I guess. A few people are iffy and might join. He's probably our best bet. We need to send him a bit of money, though. 46, that's fine. Ooh, all for this duchy. I mean, if we do gain this duchy, then we have the whole of this, which is just crazy. And then we can focus on getting the, uh, the bottom part of Greece. My wife is pregnant again. <coughs> which is good and bad, because we kind of want another son. Just in case our current son dies. But then it, it brings up some succession. Uh, yeah, some succession laws. Which might not go in our favour. I'm actually going to appoint my son as marshal. Because that will boost up his mar his own marshal up to 17. Because he fulfilled the ambition. Which is nice. Um, yeah, well, that's brilliant. That means we have two 17s. And we'll also, we'll also research some military tech in the capital. Why the hell not? 
how's our plot looking? Still at 60%. If we were to gain this dude, that boost up a little bit more. He also has 17. That's crazy. And so what we are war again as the Byzantine Empire. Trying to take Armenia this time. Which will then just... Just give us so much more land as well. It's like an entire another... That's like three duchies I think he's trying to take. Two duchies and a count. I don't know, maybe they actually are all single duchy, all single counts then. But still, there's so much land. Um, yeah, so we are still trying to murder him. She does like me a little bit. Even though I did try to kill his... Uh, she's... She doesn't like me because I'm ugly. God, what a bitch. Okay, let's go ahead and send this dude a gift. Hopefully then he'll join my plot. He will, by the looks of it. He should. Yeah, he should go ahead and join my plot. Another female, which is good. So we only need another another person from like 12% to then join the plot. And I need 20 gold to make her join. So I need a little bit more money. And then hopefully we can kill him. We'll instantly pause it and then try and get a betrothal. I feel like that's our best shot. Because she just owns way too much. Like, if we go to the opinion map mode, which is like D. Yeah, you can see what she owns. She owns, like, all of that. Oh, no, it's, it's E I want to look at, isn't it? Not? Yeah, she owns these two provinces. Which is really nice. These two provinces extra would just be... Yeah, really... Dominate my claim in Greece. We also just gained the kind trait there, which is nice. Gives a bit of a diplomacy. And all our vassals love us, so hopefully they'll love my son as well. I should probably give him a province of his own to start governing, just to mean that, you know, he gets some traits by himself. But I really need to get him married as well. Let's go ahead and give him his own his own bit of land. He can have, um, yeah, he can have this province. To deal with by himself. Yeah, he can start chilling there. That means he, you know, he just starts making his own things. That also means he'll probably marry himself, which is not good. I gave him a trait craven, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, at this point, I'm not looking to go to any any wars or battles. I'm just looking to live. My wife is pregnant again. I mean, I'm pretty old, but I'm I'm producing quite a few children. People are leaving my plot as well, which is not good. You would probably join my plot to kill your own husband. What has come to the world? That's funny. Okay, cool. He's 16%. Let's try to get him involved. Seven, it's just too much. It's too expensive. Yeah, it's just way too expensive to deal, to try and do this. So we're just going to, you know, hopefully gain a claim on the land. That'd be nice. Oh, she also owns this as well. Another daughter. Jesus, we are pumping out daughters. Like, there's no tomorrow. She is not married yet, so we need to find someone to marry her to. We've already married into this family. Do you have any sons who are not married yet? Yes, you are not married. Lovely. Let's arrange a marriage. Pretty sure it was you. Can marry one of my daughters. You would marry matrilineally. That's lovely. Cool. So what I need to do now is I need to get you in line. So if I kill your two sons, if there's, if I yeah, if I was to kill them two, her two sons, then 
my hus uh, her husband will then become the next in line. My wife is pregnant again, Jesus Christ. So many children. Still need to get my son married, like, ASAP. I guess I should kind of probably give up on killing him. What are you going to inherit? So I might lose this, apparently. Why, is he married matrilineally? He's married normally. I don't know why that passed from my realm, but it would. That's slightly confusing, but... Oh well. That's cool nonetheless. I'm kind of just waiting to die now, another son. Which is fine. He Hopefully he'll live. More sons are better, just more men I can train up, because I can hopefully make him into a, a good counsellor to gain me more claims. Because at the moment it's just impossible to gain any claims whatsoever. And my council is not looking great. I'm not going to lie. Um, wow, I can either have my... Oh, he's a 10. He's not that bad. Could be worse. I really don't want to put my wife in charge, though. So I feel like that would be very bad. So we're trying to gain all of this land. Oh, my God. The Byzantine Empire is just going on a tear. I might let my son taste battle and send some men over there. And I'll levy my son's men as well. Let's go do something interesting. Let's actually go and take some land. Otherwise, we're just going to be sitting here waiting for us to, ourselves to die. My son can lead the men. Let's go on the march. I might just straight up attack this army, even though it's against a river crossing. I might just attack it just to test out how good my son is. Because his martial skills should be greatly larger than the dude who's leading my army. Even though we're attacking across a river, we might actually go on here and go down, but we're probably still attacking from a river. Let's go round. Oh, he's running away as well. Hopefully we can catch him. Because if we can go into this province and then attack from the um, east, then hopefully we won't get the river crossing penalty. But I'm not sure we will get that. I can't really be bothered to look. Let's have a look. Yeah, we shouldn't get it then. Let's slow things down just a little bit. The melee phase is going on. Oh, we slaughtered our army before I could even look at what, what was going on. Uh, the army was being slaughtered. So let's go ahead and chase this army down. We're also in another war as well. They're attacking us though. For the duchy, the duchy down here, which isn't good. Cause that's a actually no, it's probably good. Hopefully we lose that war. Because if we lose this war, then it means we get claims on it. Even though I'm not neighboured, so I probably won't get claims on it. But if it falls out of Byzantium's control and goes into Muslims, we can hopefully maybe get some holy wars on it. That would be perfect. But the looks of it, we won that war. So let's go ahead and return home. It's pretty just quicker just to de-levy our men. Let the youth replenish. So who even is declaring this war? The Sultan down here. He's, <laughs> he's pretty big. Not going to lie. Uh, do we have a new emperor yet? We don't. How do pe people like him, don't they? They really do like him. We just need him to die, because if he dies... Then... That's not good. Because I want to just start factions to try and start taking land, but... I don't think it's really going to work. I mean, what factions can we get? Independence? No. And then just succession laws, which we don't really want. And I think we can personally gain... Because this is all for the Byzantine Emperor. So at the moment we're just going to have to be... Yeah, we're just going to have to be chilling. And not really doing much. Which is just annoying. Because it makes it a little bit less fun to watch. I mean, we need a new Chancellor. So I guess we're going to have to send some money. Um, 
getting some uh, nobles into court. Let's go and just grab a load of them then. That was a load of them. We should at least get some good people. If we get anyone with like amazing stats in anything. A 13 marshal, a 16, a 12 and a 14. That's not that bad. Could be a lot, a lot worse. Let's go ahead and just try and claim some random ass duke. Maybe it's a better chance against, I mean counts. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's a better chance against counts. Than it is. Are there any claimants on her land at all? No, there is not. Uh, any on this one? Nope. I, what I also want to do is I want to replace him with the better. Start collecting tax from there. Hopefully, that'll give me some nice new money. Can't. I do actually have a better spy master. I don't actually have a better priest, which is fine. Is my son married yet? Because I already just, oh he did marry by his own accord, which is fine. She's just some random person, so that's kind of my bad. I kind of left it too late. Um, I just really wanted to get him married to this this woman, but I kind of messed up. So let's go ahead and just cancel this plot. It's not going to go down. However, we might be able to get this dude. Let's have a look. You're not going to be able to be murdered. See, my intrigue is just so poor. It really is not great at free. Yeah, if it was better, I might actually stand a chance, but I'm not going to stand a chance, so that's fine. Whoa, she looked funny. Okay, cool, let's go ahead and look at the world as well whilst the game plays on. England's just looking like England, nothing much is really happening at all. France is chilling. It's not actually West France anymore, it's just France by the looks of it. It's a former kingdom of France, which is cool. Castile is now a thing, and Aragon, they're really beefing back for Muslims in Spain. I've never normally seen, normally the Muslims just absolutely crush. Which is kind of funny. Um, well, so let's have a look at India. See how India's doing. India's just the normal shitstorm it, it starts off being. I swear this faction is not normally... Is not normally a thing. I swear... It's normally under this one. But I guess they've broken free, which is good. And hopefully one, one Raj can reign supreme over them all. And we're just sort of chilling still. Haven't taken any land, but I might just revoke. Yeah, I feel like that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and just revoke uh, someone's title. I want to revoke his title, yeah. Let's go ahead and revoke his title, just so we have all the land. Gives us more men and less vassals to deal with. So we already have 100%. He might rise up against us, but we should have plenty more men. Everyone's joining, so like, it's not like... Yeah, let's go ahead and just send it, say he has to do it or war. Actually, no. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and raise up all the men to already. Uh, then war it is. Let's go ahead and raise up all our men and then we'll go ahead and just besiege his lands. He's actually got 700 men, which is a little bit scary. Are they going to catch my men there as well? 17th. No, we literally just get out, which is nice. So, you actually outnumber us, which is a little bit scary. But we do, we, we should have better commanders. So, hopefully, we can just outmaneuver the army. So, let's go round. Hopefully, we can just get round this army and go besiege his. Because we don't want to attack Thessalonica. We all just get slaughtered because it's a river crossing. Actually, is it? Do we suffer the penalty? Um, how do we get back just to the normal. I lost the trade zealous, how sad. I shouldn't suffer the river crossing penalty here. So let's slow it right down. Currently the skirmish phase, we don't get any modifiers, but neither do they, which is fine. We do actually outnumber them. Their right flank should hopefully just route straight away because there's so few men. As soon as it goes to the melee phase as well, we should just absolutely slaughter them. 
I mean, the missile phase is still going in our favour, which is nice. So the melee phase is going, and we're yeah absolutely wrecking them. Yeah, we slaughtered them, which is brilliant. And we will go ahead and chase down his men as well. How many men does he have garrisoned? He has 500 men garrisoned, which is quite a lot, but we should have, still have enough to siege his holding and end the war fairly soon. Make sure we just slaughter all his men on the pursuit. Because we shouldn't, we shouldn't go under 550. I wouldn't have fought by killing his men. They're refusing to die, though. They're hanging in there. One more, and then the army should be just. I just, I don't want to leave the army running around my own, my lands, just being a nuisance. Cool. Then now let's move over and the siege is holding. That then give me free. Well, my son will have one, so as soon as I die, then there'll be three provinces under me, which will be nice. Meaning then I get the full levy from all my castles, and the full money from all my castles, which is just nice. Yeah, then I'll have the entire duchy under me, which is kind of what I want to happen anyway. We're actually fighting some more men. Who the hell do we just fight? Who the hell are you? Some bishop over here. Well, did you invite someone else into the war? You did, and he did not fare too well. We annoyingly we lost too many men by so we can't actually just straight up besiege the holding now. That's frustrating. My son is proving himself in battle though, which is good. He wants to become the king of Greece as well. Let's chase down the rest of the army. Me and my son share the same vision of becoming king one day. And one day we will we will achieve it. It was a big old battle here. Uh, we captured someone as well so we can ransom him. By the looks of it, we are going to win it just. Yeah, their, their flanks are starting to crumble now. We should hopefully move the war score back into our favour. Because it's at 72%. I mean, I wouldn't actually mind if they did lose it. Because then it just frees up this little bit for me to take later on. Which would always be nice. Frustratingly though, we can't siege his holdings, we just have to keep on killing his armies until we get uh, enough war score. I mean, we might, it has to be 100% I think, because yeah, we're, we're getting him out of the game pretty much. So we just have to keep on killing his armies. And just chilling here really. We're at 82%. It's not going to go, it's not going to be ticking war score unfortunately. Because we don't have uh, we don't have the province we're trying to take. So if it was ticking war score, that'd be fine. We'd eventually win, but we don't. So we just have to chill, wait for him to raise more men, like he did. I mean, I probably don't want to be doing this because I'm just throwing my own men away against another war, which I'm not really involved in. But you know, it gives my son more prestige, so that's fine. I mean, he's already accumulated. Oh, he has like no prestige. I wonder why. They have 800 defenders there. What the hell? Why so many? That's crazy. Excellent news, more gold. Let's go ahead and maybe build something more in Thessalonica. What else can we get? Let's go ahead and get a military training ground, but it gives us like another 90 men. Which is extremely nice to have. Oh my god, just come on, raise more men. I want to just end this war. Because currently he is taking war score against me. Because he has control. Yeah, he's 8% of a war score because he has control of his holding. And I can't physically hold it at the moment. Hold on, I've actually got quite a good idea. What if I was to do that? Put my marshal to train troops and then that should hopefully give me more men? Should it not? Gives me a little bit more, but still. Okay, there you go. Here's a lot more men now. 
let's go ahead and take our uh, craft away. Let's go ahead and point someone else. Point my son and another character to that flank. Cool, so we actually have all three flanks now. I don't want to attack over that river because it will hugely destroy my chances. But I want to kill this army, so let's go ahead and attack from the Bulgarian land. And we'll march downwards off the hills and hopefully just slaughter this 300 men, which should then give me enough war score. I'm hoping. Oh crap, I did not mean to do that. Oh well. She can be my spy master, why the hell not? My son might be murdered, but YOLO. So yeah, their left flank instantly routed, which was lovely. Yeah, so the best center. And their right flank's about to route anytime soon. Lovely, so we killed that arm, let's go and chase it down. We're still only at 83% war score though. This is just annoying and frustrating. I just don't have enough men to siege his holding. 85. And obviously it will just keep on going down because I don't have enough men. So I might just have to buy some mercenaries quickly and just take his holding straight away. What is the cheapest bunch of mercenaries I can get? It's normally 150. So we might have to just do that. Just wait until... Wait until I have enough money, then just get some mercenaries just to take his land. Because it's going to keep on going down, unfortunately. Oh my god, we keep on failing to fabricate claims. <laughs> just want to get some claims. We have like a pooling... A pooling chancellors but still whoa he just raised like a thousand men to fuck are they mercenaries I assume they are mercenaries but still that's a large force and we, we can't afford mercenaries yet so we have to be a little bit careful um, yeah so we still have to wait a little bit till we can raise enough men to even think about attacking that because I'm going to raise mercenaries anyway, just solely because we need to, to besiege his holding and actually win the war. But as long as our army of a thousand men just sit, sits there, I think it's going to sit there because it has, uh, yeah, it has no need to attack me. It's gaining war score, so it's just going to chill there and defend its own provinces. So I'm going to wait just so I have enough men to maybe hold it, hold the army, the mercenaries for like another couple months like maybe three to four months so we're gonna wait till we hit about 170 maybe 180 gold and then we'll do it that should give me mercenaries for like three to four months and that means i can besiege for holding even though i'll probably just assault it straight away depending on how difficult it is because all the time he is gaining men which is kind of scary that's very scary he's actually besieging now and that means i can't raise men Hopefully I can force him out. If I can force him out of my provinces, then, that, then it means I can... Then it means I can raise more men. Because at the moment I can't raise any men in the capital through mercenaries because he's besieging it. However... Where's my son gone? My son was in cape. No, that's fucking bad. That's really bad. Who's my new heir? Some 20 set. Oh no. But he's still the heir. Hopefully he has children. I doubt he will though. Who will be the next heir after him? How did he become incapable though? It just doesn't say. Oh my god. That's so bad. That is really annoying. So let's go ahead and assault these men. Just to try and get them out of the way. They're bringing over more men as well. Oh this is just annoying and difficult. Yeah, because if I raise any men, crap, I just de my men as well. That is so awkward. My wife died as well. Cool. What I'm going to do, hope, yeah, that won't, because the, the mercenaries will raise in my capital, won't they? Which is not good. Oh, 
Oh no, they didn't. They raised on the army. That's brilliant. I didn't think it would do that, but it did. So that's, that's amazing. That's actually really nice. They've changed that, and they are actually going to go ahead and meet up with their their army over there. We'll, we will be able to hold these mercenaries for some time. Hopefully, that will change to being negative probably fairly soon. We do outnumber them, so if we just get ready to march, then we should be able to beat the army. Yeah, we're losing four gold a month, meaning we should be able to hold these mercenaries for about six to seven months. We're just letting our morale go back up. I did not realise I was ill, but I was, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I doubt I'm going to have a son there, so the next heir will probably be this dude. So I should really be educating. Not quite sure why I'm not. Cool, let's go ahead and march on them and see if we can defeat their army. We should be able to because we have you know, a decent force. We have a lot of horses. Whereas they have like literally no like cavalry. We have 300. And we outnumber them on archers. They just have more heavy infantry. So they're pretty going to demolish us in the melee phase. But hopefully just our weight of numbers through light infantry just means that, yeah, they destroyed our centre, which sucks. But we destroyed their left flank. This battle, yeah, we got slaughtered in that battle, which is unfortunate. They just had so much more heavy, heavy units than me. We might be able to ask for white peace. Um, because this war is not going in our favour. He would accept white peace, which is fine. I mean, we'll just wait a little bit. It's because he asked his allies to get involved. Like, this dude brought over a load of men. It was kind of unfortunate that we lost that and really bad of me. I could have played it a lot better. We just we just didn't have enough men to siege his holdings. Which kind of screwed me over. So, we need a new wife. Um, hopefully, we can find someone of, who has decent claims, maybe. We also have a weak claim. To claim that for who? For one of my daughters? For one of his daughters. I don't think it'll go under me though because it's her claim. So I'm pretty sure it will it won't go under me. So there's no point fighting for that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. It's been a pretty shaky start, to be fair. Like I, I really messed up in that last battle, but we'll all sort it out next episode. And hopefully we gain a claim fairly soon on one of these provinces. That'd be very nice. And we also need to replenish the amount of men we can have. Because since my son became incapable, that's really kind of set us back a little bit. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time and fish out.